Welcome back everyone to Canadian Gundam or the Gundam shop, whichever you decide. Um Today's Friday. Or no, it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday at uh 542, I think, something like that. Maybe a little bit later. I can't remember. It's been a long day. Uh thank you so much. I can't believe how many people watched um the previous video. Uh they got a little bit of a fun coupon and uh a lot of people used it, so really appreciate that. You guys helped me so much, uh, kind of clearing a lot of things out, and uh, you got a pretty good price on it, too. Um, yeah, and I really do appreciate that so much, and uh, thank you for all the support, all the awesome comments. Uh, Amy and I were going through them. We answered a bunch of them, so uh, yeah, no, really do appreciate it. Um Still need to make a little bit of room, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't know if the coupon code is still working, but, uh, I mean, give it a try. I kind of just put it in for a day or two. I can't really remember. But, uh, yeah, today's topic is, uh, it's like story time. And, boy, do I have a story. This is about uh, a year and a half, probably, I've had these things. And I've always wanted to uh, talk about them. Never had the time and I just feel like talking talking about them now. So you might have seen this in the previous videos. And uh, look what's inside. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Upside down. Yep. Ashtray red frame. Is that not crazy or what? So we have 24 of them. And here's the story. Uh, they were previously sold by the government of Canada. Can you believe that? Uh, and before you think, oh, the government of Canada is selling Gundams, what? Uh, they were, uh, it was a forfeiture. So, yeah, the story goes, or I'm trying to remember this. I purchased these off a um, uh, guy named Matt, I think out London area. Uh, so uh, it's actually pretty far. I, I drove there and drove back to get these things. Um, didn't really get too much of a deal on it. I think I'm not sure how exactly how much I paid. Maybe more than him. I really can't remember a lot of these things. Uh, I definitely wanted them because the story behind them was fun. And at the time, you couldn't even get uh, these guys. Uh, inventory was really low a year and a half ago. Can we all imagine what uh, you know shortages on everything it seemed like? Uh, and they still are. Um, there's hints. Guys, if you're interested in getting stuff, get it now because there's hints of things slowing down. And what I mean by that is that uh, um, inventory might start trickling down. So anyways, uh, before I go on a tangent there, uh, still look. Anyways, yeah, let's get back to this. Uh, so this, uh, I went and picked it up from him. He bought it from the government of Canada, which was picked up in North York, uh, GTA area. And uh, yeah. Here they are. <laughs> so if you want, uh, and I'm thinking about releasing them to the public. A gov uh, Astray can Government of Canada version. <laughs> um, let me see. I actually have, oh, guys, also, um, check that out. Uh, we just released, released pre-orders for the God Gundam. We secured numbers. We know exactly how much we're getting. If you pre-order from us, you will be getting it. There will be no shortages or nothing. Uh, and I've confirmed it, blah, blah, blah. We're getting them. So if you want a great price right now, uh, check out my Facebook. I think that's the only way. Or you can check out the website and it should be there somewhere. But uh, yeah, uh, just a little bit of an ad there. <laughs> Here it is. So this is the Government of Canada. Oh, let me see. Let me see if I can adjust this. Government of Canada's website. Uh, I will put the link in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. This is uh, where... So when people get stuff seized and yeah, I don't know if you, anybody watches those border shows and they try to smuggle in cigarettes or this or that, or, you know, uh, they also, you know, uh, people that deal in illicit things, uh, sometimes have their cars pop up up in here or, you know, assets. So this originally one lot of 25, uh, this was location North York and, uh, it sold for this price, 1,251. Uh, there you go. April of 2021 at this time. We'll take a look. What the? Oh, this thing's touching the keyboard. <laughs> so here they all are. Check that out. That's so neat. Oh, you can probably figure out where they came from. Um, got a very unique code. I don't want to type that in. 
If someone wants to do it, awesome. Uh, so minimum bid started at 50 bucks for 24, ended up going for this price. Uh, Bandai to 24 comes in original packaging, Constant contents haven't been inspected. These items have been forfeited. So what does that mean? That means, uh, so I, I'm trying to remember the story from a year and a half ago. Um, something, I don't know. So when you forfeit something, um, I think this situation, they were try, they were claiming them as books and a really low value and they didn't want to pay duty. It's like tax, import taxes. And they were trying to basically, I guess, smuggle them in as something else and uh, avoid those taxes. Government obviously caught uh, this coming through, uh, went to the person that was going, uh, it was going to and said, listen, we're going to fine you all these things. This person didn't want to pay. So they ended up for forfeiting it uh, or maybe the government confiscated. I'm not sure, but it says forfeited. So I'm going to trust the government. Always trust the government. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, what's wild is that they also came in the original boxes with the original place of where they were going to end up and that's i think that's a little bit wild the previous um there's a little bit of it um i don't want to show it off too much but i think they were going to some uh shop in uh let's say hobby shop in toronto and leave it at that um so yeah there you go it's kind of neat uh it's just a, it's an interesting story. I mean, when, when do you ever buy government uh, property and it turns out to be <laughs> Gundams? 24 of them too, when there was like a lack of these guys in the market. So there's a lack of it right now. Uh, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity. I need the space. Let's uh, let you guys enjoy it. I am keeping one for myself just for the story. Maybe I'll build it one day. I'll do like some Canadian. It would be kind of cool if anybody buys one. Uh, I'm going to put it at, like... Yeah, I'll, I'll keep these at a low price. Uh, I'm just going to like my costs, uh, taxes and like I'm going to keep them very reasonable. So I just for the most part, I'm going to break even on these guys. So, um, yeah, anybody, uh, if anybody picks one up, it would be really cool if you did a uh, government of Canada one on it. I don't know. I've seen that someone did the move sticker and it looked unbelievable. So if anybody wants to take on that challenge, by all means, and uh, send over the pictures. But, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's the story behind these guys. And, uh, I don't know. I just thought it was really neat. Uh, let's take a look inside. Uh, they haven't been inspected, so I'm assuming they are Gundams. Uh, I never actually looked through all of them. Do you find anything interesting, uh, you know, as they were smuggled in? Um, you know, I don't think there's anything elusive in them. I might have a quick peek through them before I ship them out. Uh, just to make sure there's no uh, extra baggies of something or, you know, one 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 of them has like a hundred grand in it. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, how quickly I'd have to take this video down. <laughs> but, uh, or maybe, you know what? I'm not even going to look through them. I don't know. What should, what should I do? Write that down in the comments. Should I look through them or should I just ship them as is? And whatever you get is whatever you get. Um, that's a good and a bad thing too, so... I don't know. Write it down in the comments. I'd be very curious just to see uh, what you guys would uh, prefer. Because, uh, uh, you know, I do read the comments. Amy loves reading the comments. We were doing comments yesterday. I think I said that already, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so thanks to everyone again. Um, tomorrow, Amy's coming in. We got, because of uh, the video yesterday and releasing that code, uh, we got what, 150 plus orders, maybe, maybe probably even more than that. So we're going to do a video tomorrow and, um, yeah, let me show you, yeah, if anybody wants to investigate, whoa, I didn't see this before. Or maybe if I did, I don't remember seeing it. Yeah. What's in this one? What's this? But uh, yeah, before I lose my train of thought, I'm going to end the video uh, here. So uh, yeah, so tomorrow, we're Amy's coming in. We're coming in early. Oh, someone got uh, something. Um, and we're going to get your orders on video. I don't know how we're going to do it. I want to do so many people left so many comments. And I just don't want to not show them off, read them type of thing. So I might do a few part series uh, for tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm, I haven't done something like that before, so I'm going to try it out. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. 
Whoever is interested in an Ashtray uh, Red Frame Government uh, Canada version, here's your opportunity to own one. And uh, it comes with a fun story. And for a good price, too. I'm gonna, uh, it's going to be definitely cheaper than uh, if I actually picked them up from Bandai. But, uh, yeah. Guys, thanks for tuning in. And uh, don't forget to keep on building. Bye, guys.